How's it going everyone, Sinister of the Gamer Section bringing you another review, and today's game I'm covering is Monster Hunter Rise. This game is available on the Series S and X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, PC and Switch. The plot takes place in Komura Village and you've been promoted to Hunter by the Guild. Fugan tells you about the Rampage where frenzied monsters are unleashed, but you're not going at this alone because you have your companions assisting you on your quest. Will the rampage reoccur? Time will tell. Previously, this game was released on the Switch and PC respectively. The graphics are decent on the Switch but look greater on the PC. Using the RE engine, the colors are vibrant with its lights and darks. And now Monster Hunter Rise is on the other platforms like the Series X for example. You get to choose between quality or performance for your gaming experience. The cutscenes explain the events what's going on, and the voice acting is good even though in the game they respond with a few words. The music at the main menu is very well done with its warm melody. Monster Hunter Rise is an action RPG being the sixth installment in the series. You use your creative character and animal companions to take on quests on hunting various monsters and other tasks. You have tutorials and training to help you out before venturing out on your own. When it comes to the combat, you have two attacks with your weapons, but you have to be careful because using these too much will deplete your stamina, and after defeating the monsters, you can skin them and upgrade your weapons and armor, and finally you can talk to people where you can get quests from. The Hunter Monster series has come a long way to continue to upgrade the mechanics to keep it fresh, but still stay true to its roots. When I was playing this game, the issue I had was getting used to the combat mechanics because it's easy to miss the monsters while attacking, but your companions are locked into them with no problem. Another issue is when it comes to the tutorials, you have to use your D-pad instead of the analog stick, but when you're in the open world, you can use the analog to control your character again. Finally, you know, if you're not experienced in the Monster Hunter series, you're going to be lost and have to rely on the tutorial starting out. I give Monster Hunter Rise a 4 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for gaming. Be sure to leave us a like and subscribe to the gamers section.